God's new creation and just mimic, seeking to mimic that kingdom of God of continuance by counting out your ticket out of this world. Trying to set up some utopian dream world and forfeit a kingdom not made by human hands, held in reserve, eternally prepared for our return. Looking at our current situation today, this election, both of these candidates are offering you some utopian dream world. They don't speak of the kingdom of God. Trump Towers, Kamala's pipe dream, telling these young kids that one day they'll get to see the craters of the moon. And Elon Musk giving us the pipe dream we're all going to end up on Mars or go off in some kind of life-sustaining pods to keep our youth until such time, light years away, we get to a new planet. And when we get there, we're at the same age before we left. And all our family that we friends that we knew have long since died. But we've sustained our life. And we end up on a new planet. Then they begin to die. They can't avoid it. The ticket comes about whether you accept it or not. It's your ticket out of this world. One day, after the millennium, at the end of this world, the ticket is finally gone. It's called death. And hell, it's holding hell. If you choose to go there, it'd be stupid to go there. That's those who don't have understand what I'm talking about right now. And their ticket gets canceled by default. And they have to leave this world. But they're not prepared. Instead of an upward spiral, they got a downward spiral to a holding house. And from a holding house, that spiral continues in what's called Gehenna. Because you listen to the doctrines of devils and demons, doctrines of men, not realizing you should listen to the doctrines that come from your spirit, enlightened by the Holy Spirit to the eternal kingdom of your Father, and you would have went home. People don't understand that. They think this is heresy. No, what you're teaching is heresy. Damnation, cutting people off from God. The worst demon in hell is the self-righteous religious ideas. Worse than the secular world and their hope in man, by the name of man, by the power of man, to the glory of man. Christ is in you the hope of glory. Return to that lost glory of you being the offspring of your father. Instead, you become the offspring of your devil, who was a liar from the beginning and didn't bind into truth. A reality from which you came, you must return. People don't want to hear that. Because some distorted cult or some distorted new age idea has gotten a hold of this mystery. That's why God kept the secret there to death, bone, and resurrection of Jesus. And this Apostle Paul revealed the mystery. Before the ink dried on his parchments, they had begun to distort it already. Either distort it or get people to deny it, seeing this world as the reality. And Paul kept warning him not to have this steadfast long gate upon the things seen that are only temporary. But that which is unseen is eternal, and it's your home. And to return to your father, you got to come to know in your spirit and have your spirit cry, Abba, Father. All this and more has been revealed by our father to our spirits. 
This intrinsic inborn mind with the memory of our father in that kingdom from which we left, we must return. To reject this, I can't tell you what you're going to lose. He that seeks to save this life and his ideas and opinions according to the carnal mind lose that kingdom and never go home. May God open our eyes. This generation, I think, is rich when it's wretched and miserable, poor, blind, and naked. The eyes have opened its eyes. This is the church that it speaks of in the book of Revelation. The last church period. We're in that church period. We're going the way of Cain. We've tried it on the foot, but our Father has been offering us being caught up in the cares and fears of this life. Even the elect, if possible, could be deceived. But if you get hold of the mind of Christ, you will not be deceived. This is not the reality. This was intended to be temporary and had an eternal purpose for it. It had a beginning, it had an end. We must return. We've got to understand this, remember to your spirit who will bear witness with our spirit, his spirit will bear witness with our spirit that we're his offspring and God is calling us home.